Hey guys, have you ever wanted to search something up while texting someone, but didn't want to leave the app you're using? Now you can. The long past due Gboard, which came out for iOS 6 months ago, is finally here for Android. Here's how you can get it. The Gboard is not officially on the Google Play Store yet, although I will update this video with a link once it gets posted. For now, you can install an APK of the app using a link in the description below. First, you just scroll down and you'll see two options for the download. You'll have the choice between ARM64 or just ARM. If you want to be safe, just pick the ARM version. ARM64 4 will run better on some newer devices, so do a, Google, do a Google search if your processor is 64-bit or not. My S5 is not 64-bit, so I will download the regular version. Once it's downloaded, install the APK. and follow all of the directions that will appear on screen. So let's just wait. Let's just wait for it to pull up. There we go. So like for example, it'll tell you to enable it in settings and you can just go do that. You now have a fully functional Gboard. Let's test it out. So I'm going to search something up, no thank you, and then you'll see this button that appears here, the Google button. You can click on it and it will let you search whatever you want inside of the keyboard itself. How awesome is that? So let's search up Pokemon Moon. Isn't that just amazing? You can literally access Google from your keyboard. So that's basically it. I will make an update video soon with my experience using the new keyboard, so make sure to subscribe to keep updated. If this video helped you out, leave a like, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.